Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel! Finally! It has been a while. <laughs> Besides, um, you know, the obvious, <laughs> there's just been a few things that have um, been keeping me from getting out vlogging and doing wildlife photography. But I'm back! Hopefully this time it is um, for the foreseeable future because <laughs> I made like two um, returns and everyone's like welcome back and then I just disappeared again for another like two three months so please forgive me if I'm a little bit rusty when it comes to talking to the camera or a little bit rusty when it comes to taking pictures I've not been able to do it for like four months so I've kind of forgotten how to if you're just joining us then my name is Meg and I am and I am an amateur wildlife photographer based in Scotland and I am documenting my journey um, learning to be a better wildlife photographer all here on my channel so if that interests you then make sure to hit that subscribe button um oh, the midges are there's so many midges and they're attacking my face today i thought that i would um start off um simple i have come down to a local park to photograph whatever wildlife i see here just now i'm setting um I say watching little bunny rabbits but waiting for them to appear because they um, scarpered when they heard that truck going past. I'm going to wait for them to show up and take some pictures of them. If you're not new to my channel, if you've been here for a little while, oh my god there's a midget in my hand, <laughs> then you might remember that last year I came down here to photograph um, these rabbits and I got a little bit emotional because my pet bunny had not long passed away at that point. Um, hopefully no tears today <laughs> so yeah i'm just gonna get stuck in uh photographing them and you can you can join me just before i get started though i am currently using the canon eos 80d with my sigma 150 to 600 millimeter contemporary lens which i have not seen for a while well i've seen it i just haven't held it and used it for a while <laughs> so i'm very much looking forward to getting reacquainted with this little one and um, yeah let's get some cute pictures of some rabbits I think one of the issues I've noticed with these little guys is because they're so close to the, um, like low and close to the ground is that the autofocus isn't like doing the most. <laughs> it keeps like focusing on the grass so the grass will be like like perfect focus and then just the rabbit will be out of focus. I just keep trying I guess. I'm going to be very very intrigued to find out how many midge bites I have accumulated so far because I reckon that it's a lot. Um, I also think I might have got one on my eye. <laughs> This is what I do for you guys. <laughs> this is what I do for my content. I think I might move away from the trees um, because I think that there's more rabbits down. Like, um, I didn't see where I was, but I'm basically, I'm on an old running track and there's more rabbits down there. So I might move. Hopefully that moving away from the trees means there might be less midges. So a lot more dog walkers are starting to um, show up so that is um, creating a little bit of a challenge because obviously rabbits will not stick around if they see a dog running towards them but what can you do? I genuinely think I have been bitten in the eye by a midgey. Do you know how like at the beginning of this video when I said there would hopefully be no tears in this one? <laughs> So there's a little guy right in front of me who's like the sleepiest little bunny. He's so cute. I've got a few shots of him kind of like face on and he's like, which was me um, waking up super early this morning to get here. <laughs> also is me with a midgey biting my eye, you know. I 
think I've managed to get them in focus even though there's kind of a little bit of a hill and then he's like sitting just behind it. Uh, it's been quite good having the kind of morning lighting and um, it means I've been able to have quite a fast shutter speed so hopefully the images are quite sharp um, but I'll see when I put them on my laptop to edit them because usually the case is they look great on the camera and then you put them on the laptop you're like wow they suck so I'm gonna stay with the, la uh, with the rabbits a little bit longer and then I'm gonna go a wander to see what else I can find because I know a spot where there's usually a kind of congregation of oyster catchers what's a group of oyster catchers called? is it just a flock of oyster catchers? I'll need to look that up in the meantime I'm gonna just take a few more shots of this little guy I've managed to get a couple um, of him looking right down the lens which was my goal so I'm glad <laughs> I've accomplished that um, and I quite like the way that the the ground is kind of concealing his body and it's just his little head poking up because it kind of you know tells the story of a rabbit because they're prey animals and they spend a lot of their time hiding so I think it captures his, um, his story quite well. <laughs> I've just moved um, from where the rabbits are because I think I'm happy with the shots that I got so I thought I'd move on. There's a little um, flock of pied wagtails here but um, they are anytime I like edge closer they're like <laughs> moving away and it's almost like they're teasing me because they'll just move far enough away that I can maybe think oh I'll maybe edge a little bit closer and then they'll just move on again so um, I might see if I can get a couple of shots of those because they are super cute birds um, and yeah some different I suppose <laughs> Sorry if you can't hear me over the drilling that's over there. <laughs> I walked down to where the oyster catchers usually hang out. Unfortunately, there's none here. But there is a swallow that's kind of zooming around me. Um, no chance I'm going to be able to photograph it. <laughs> I've tried, but it's so dang fast. I think I found a single oyster catcher who's chilling out on the roof of a boat over here so he's quite far away but I'm gonna get a picture of it because I talked about oyster catchers in this video so I might as well try and get a picture and, and show you guys them. <laughs> I'm gonna head back up to the running track see if the rabbits are there maybe might get a, um, a couple more shots because it's getting busier, the rabbits were not there. I did get a little picture of a grey squirrel though. That came out of the bushes looking like the Ginch or something. So at least it wasn't a wasted trip. The park doesn't look too busy so I'm going to head through in the hopes I might see a couple of um, little garden birds or something like that to photograph before I head back to my car and head home and have a look at the pictures and see if they are actually okay or not. As you can probably see, I am no longer in the park, I'm back in my car, obviously. It was just getting so busy and I didn't see anything, so I just thought, you know what, I'll call it and um, go home. As I was walking back along the river towards um, the car park, I did see a couple of black-headed gulls, which are pretty standard, obviously, that I got a couple of pictures of those, and I did see a red-breasted uh, merganser and a little grebe but they were both too far away to get any sort of good pictures of but as always i will put a full list of all the wildlife that i spotted um in the video down in the description box so if you want to check that out then feel free to do so i think that's a wrap on this return vlog and um, i hope you enjoyed it um i do intend to just in case anyone's wondering i do intend to make um the reacting to your lockdown wildlife photography 
video um quite a lot of you have sent me your pictures which is amazing <laughs> i haven't forgotten about it i will be making it hopefully very soon um but yeah in the meantime that's it for me today uh, i hope you enjoyed this vlog if you did then um, make sure to subscribe you can also follow me on instagram and twitter um i have two instagrams now which is a new thing i have um, my photography dedicated one which is just at meg Montague photography and i also have a personal instagram account which you can now follow if for whatever reason you wanted to uh, which is meg underscore Montague. so okay this has been the longest wrap up of a vlog ever i've forgotten how to do it I'll end it here. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Stay safe. And I promise I will see you soon. Bye. <laughs> oh, I'm a mess. Bye.